Hi, this is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee, and for today's video we're back with another installment in our Yaesi VX6 Operator Series. For today's video we're going to be talking about shortwave operations, uh, shortwave monitoring operations more specifically. Now in the last video I talked about how to access the special um, memory channels bank, and let's go ahead and turn the radio on and refresh your memory on this one, but uh, to access that you just press the FW key and the 9 key, we're already on, when you saw radio come up, we're already in the shortwave zone. And from here, as I mentioned, there are 89 shortwave channels that are available for you to monitor. Now, the SRH320 Alpha antenna is a fantastic antenna for this HT. In fact, in terms of aftermarket antennas, of all of the ones that I own, this is the one that has provided the most dramatic step up in performance on any radio ever in my experience. However, as good as this antenna is, it it doesn't really do you any favors in terms of shortwave. It is uh, shortwave is so far out of what this antenna is designed to do, it's almost laughable. Uh, and I've always kind of wondered what what their thinking was in um, in adding the shortwave. Uh, other than what I'm about to do, uh, and they might, it would be nice if they would have mentioned this in the uh, the manual. But even with the factory antenna, there's there's no extra magic in the factory antenna that's going to yield any kind of results. I have yet with a, with either the factory antenna or an aftermarket antenna to pick up anything other than static and monitoring shortwave. But um, I do like shortwave, so uh, it's something that I that I kind of. Uh, wanted to see what I could what I could do and, and it's really pretty obvious it's down to the antenna right so uh, in a lot of cases now there's a lot of uh, let me grab one here real quick it might be a little bit dusty but um, I don't do a lot of shortwave I, I'm not I'm not like a big super shortwave guy but I do have this Texan shortwave radio little little portable unit that I can put in the in the go bag and and use it for um, shortwave monitoring as well as local AM FM that kind of stuff and it just has a little uh, little extender antenna on here and that's not terrific either and what, uh, what most people do is they'll put some kind of a long wire antenna on this now at the same time that I bought the Texan radio I bought their little um, long wire antenna that is pretty handy it's got this nice little clip so you can clip it somewhere else and then the antenna actually just spools out of the case and then you can wind it back up into the case for storage. Um, I don't know, I forget the exact length of the antenna, but I know it's 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 adequate to give you shortwave performance out of the Texan radio. So what I was thinking was, well, how do I marry this antenna to this? Because I could very easily, in my MCOM bag that I would have a VX6 in, I could uh, toss this antenna in there. I just need some means of attaching it to the radio. Because, uh, of course, it attaches with this little 3.5 millimeter um, plug here and we have at the top of this radio well, let's turn the radio on a, uh, a completely different proposition with an SMA connector so what I did was I found a way to bridge that gap and pretty much any solution or anything you're looking or any mechanism you're looking at to, to bridge one one methodology to another it's available out there if you look hard enough so what I found was uh, this handy little 3.5 millimeter to BNC adapter set. And what I do to prep the radio for that, because I always keep a, a BNC adapter in the bag with the radio, and I'll be talking more on that later when I'm talking about the care and feeding of BNC connectors. Um, of course, one thing I always forget on this is with VX6, this little rubber piece on these needs to come off. Big old pro tip there for any of you out there doing this, because the skirt on this is a little too narrow, um, and it catches on, on the rubber. But with that removed, this fits in there absolutely perfect like it was made for it. So from there, you just simply attach the BNC connector to the top. You attach the long wire antenna on spool it out, set it up uh, in whatever format you want to set it up, and this could vastly improve, uh, at least it has for me, I can actually pick up shortwave now. Um, it's it's not ideal, it's not terrific, uh, but it's good enough for me to gather some decent intel. 
Uh, and if I worked a little harder on it in angling the, or setting the antenna up in the, in the right fashion, uh, again, this is something I haven't played with as much as I would like to. I plan on doing a little bit more of this on my next uh, trip to the coast. I'm actually going to spool this out and then take a video with, a, with some nice ocean in the background. Um, but for now, if you're looking for a solution to improve that or looking for something a little extra to throw into your go bag that might be useful on your next outing uh, or you help, even your next camping trip, it could prove to be entertaining. This might be something to look at. And I'll leave a link in the description where I found this. I, I think I got it off of Amazon. You can get a lot of these cool little connectors off of Amazon. Quality varies from time to time, but uh, I've had pretty good results with the guys that I bought this from. So with that, I will bring it to a close. Thank you for watching and or listening. This is Scott Kilo Sierra 6, Delta Alpha Yankee from Southwest Visalia, California. Have a wonderful day.